We've all been annoyed at the movies when people are talking loudly, phones are ringing, people are texting, babies are crying. But in Hartford County, one man got annoyed by what he saw on the screen when he went to see the hit new movie, The Avengers. ABC2 News' Roosevelt Leffert explains what he did after complaining that he just wanted to see his movie and not read it. Rosie? Well, Kelly, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater, and you definitely can't pull the fire alarm either. The state fire marshal's office says 34-year-old David Walters could have caused a panic just because he didn't like his movie. It's the number one movie in America. You can see the Avengers in many different ways. IMAX, 3D, IMAX 3D, digital, real 3D, and for the hearing impaired, you can see the movie with closed captioning. That was one of the showings at the Regal Theaters yesterday afternoon. But there was one man in the audience who didn't want to read the phrase Hulk smash. He just wanted to see it. The theater staff offered to refund his money, but he refused and then went back inside and watched the movie. But he still wasn't satisfied. Upon conclusion of the movie, though, he comes back out readdresses the management, um, still is upset. Uh, at that time, he says, I'd like to get my refund. I said, we already offered that. You chose not to. You've watched the movie. Now, that's, you know, that's the way it has to be at this point. To which he was still very upset. He goes over, pulls the fire alarm initiating device. When the alarms go off, all the movies showing in the 14 screen theaters stop and the lights come on. Bouch says that the theater staff acted quickly and told the folks in the different theaters that it was a false alarm and that there was no fire. Probably the key to avoiding a panic, which is why this type of thing just isn't funny. They've seen what happens when there is a fire in a theater and so panic can very quickly ensue. So it's good to you know, inform everyone that what is exactly going on, put everyone at ease, and resume normal activity. Now, Walters is facing the charge of causing false alarm. He could be fined as much as $5,000. Mm -hmm. Roosevelt Leftwich, ABC2 News.